Hello everyone. Welcome back. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today I am going to show you one of the most common task of network engineer at work in the company. How network engineers monitors networking devices like routers, switches using PRTG and SNMP. You know, PRTG is a very powerful network monitoring tools, and you already know about. SNMP. SNMP is a protocol used to send or gather informations of networking devices. Like SNMP is going to send the information of your networking devices. It can be health, health of your networking devices, memory uses, CPU uses, band bandwidth uses to network monitoring tools like PRTG or Solar Bind. Okay, so this is my topology, and here I am going to configure one IP address on router number one, and this IP address will be reachable from my local laptop. And on my local laptop, I have just installed this network monitoring tools PRTG. You can see. So first of all, let me start this application. And guys, network monitoring. Monitoring means how network engineer find problem. Before users complain, and you know, network monitoring is one of the most common task of network engineer, right? Every time we are adding router switches into PRTG to check the health of our router, right? To actually find the problem before user complain, right? For that, you will be keep monitoring your network. You will be keep checking health of your devices. You will be keep checking CPU utilization of your devices, memory of your devices, interface interface bandwidth, alert. Is there any alerts on devices? That these all things comes under um, network monitoring, right? So here you can see I have start the application. Now it is asking for the credential, and by default credential is this one only PRTG admin. Password is also PRTG admin. So let me log in because I have not reset the password till now. Password is default, and here you can see this is the dashboard of your um, network monitoring tool PRTG. Right? It is uh, giving me the message to reset the password, but I don't want to reset it now. Just close it. You can see this is the main dashboard of PRTG network monitoring. Right? But right now I don't have any router. I don't have any switch here, right? See, PRTG is not only used to monitor routers and switches, right? You can even monitor Windows PC. But I am going to show you the task of network engineer, right? So I will add router and switch here. Okay? So let me do one thing first. First of all, I am going to configure my router, right? IP address, and I am going to enable SNMP so that it can send the device information. So I am expecting you all already know the SNMP configuration. If you don't know the SNMP, what is SNMP and how to configure SNMP on the router, then you can watch my SNMP video where I have explained SNMP in detail. Okay. Now see, I am in configure terminal mode. Go to interface G0/0. Say no shutdown, and I am going to configure one IP address here. IP address 192.168.1.250. 250 submit one two five five two five five two five five dot zero. Now after configuring this IP address, first of all you should test the connectivity. Let me open CMD in my local laptop, and I am going to ping this IP address. Ping one ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot two fifty, and you can see ping is getting reply. That means connectivity is there. There is no issue of connectivity. Now let's enable SNMP here. To enable SNMP, command is SNMP server and let me configure community first community public and ro read only right then snmp server location let's say pm lab right after that snmp contact let's say pm networking and that's it and and save the configuration right now go to your prtg network monitoring tools and 
add networking devices there right for that you can see on the dashboard so many options are there i am not going to talk about the dashboard today right here alarm map right report logs ticket setup sensors libraries home and devices right so i am going to add devices let's click on devices and here you need to find networking devices right i have also just installed it let me check where it is so it should be under network infrastructure right but right now you can see under network infrastructure under network discovery we have network infrastructure and under network infrastructure we have internet and dns gateway dhcp right this one only so uh, what you can do you can create one group here under network infrastructure under network infrastructure just right click on it and then uh, click on add node device click on add group right and guys this is common task of network engineer we often perform these kinds of tasks in the company okay so to what i told you to add the group here just right click on network infrastructure and then add group and here you need to create one group you can give the name here group name is let's say net network i'm saying network devices devices and after that in group you can check credential for snmp credential for snmp devices is snmp v2c default okay that's great keep it in neighbor okay say okay here and now you can see i have one group here with name network devices inside this group i am going to add device right so click on add device and i am going to add router right so here it is asking name name is going to be router and then host name hyphen host name of my router is r1 so r1 okay then ip version ip version 4 tell me the ip address of your router 192.168.1.250 is the ip address yes, scroll down here you can select the logo and those all thing look for again credential for snmp credential credential for snmp is this one okay and say okay here okay now under under network devices you can see i have route router r1 so just right click on it and here is your router but right now you cannot monitor it because you don't have any sensor right so now the another tasks one task is creating group network group under network infrastructure or network discovery i have created the group inside that i have added the router right so this is one of the most common task of network engineer adding router and switch into prtg okay so like this you can add router on your network monitoring tool and here to monitor this router you need to install add sensors to add sensors here you can see right now i don't have any sensor right you can add sensor for cpu utilization for memory uses right so to add sensor just right click over here and it is giving you some recommendation as well right if you want to see the recommended sensor right then just click on it uh, recommend now and say okay here you can see it is it is in process right it will recommend you some sensors like it can recommend you uh, add cpu utilization sensor right to see the cpu or it can recommend you to add snmp traffic right to see the real time bandwidth on interfaces on each interfaces like on wan interface lan interface right see the green graph see the uh, other important sensors which are available in recommendation right so till now we have configured snmp on the router and then i have added router on prtg and after that i am adding sensor over here 28 percent is completed i will add three important sensor here right one for cpu like cpu sensor i will add cpu sensor memory sensor 
and interface traffic right to see the bandwidth uses of interface uh, cpu sensor to check the cpu utilization of my devices and memory sensor for the memory uses and you know like every day when network engineers enter in the office in early hour in the morning right they open these kinds of software and they check health of devices every day they checks health of devices interface status right so that if there is any issue any alert right if cpu utilization is going high right it can fix it before user complain okay so this particular thing is called network monitoring network monitoring means network monitoring means monitoring your networking devices right like we monitor our health similarly monitoring the health of networking devices here you can see it has suggested me three sensors one is cpu load so definitely i will add this cpu load let me click on add and uh, you can see prtg is creating sensor they will appear in the sensor list soon say okay and it is recommending some other sensors as well like you can see snmp traffic right snmp uptime from here you can see until when your snmp is up it is giving you some other system health sensor right so i will show you those systems as well you can even add it right now or from here also you can add search any sensor let me refresh this page once it will take few seconds right just wait automatically it will appear over here and now you can see the cpu load sensor is added right over here but right now status is showing unknown just wait for some time it will take one minute to come live after that it will start giving you the real time information real time data right it will gather the data through snmp protocol that's why we have configured snmp on the router now you can see the cpu utilization of your router is seven percent here you can see the cpu utilization of your router is seven percent similarly you can add switch as well right make sure your device is reachable from your laptop right if you are doing lab in your laptop in the production the you will install this software on the cloud or on the server or on the vm right and from there your networking devices will be reachable all networking devices let's suppose i have 100 routers in my network so first of all i will make reachability to all 100 devices after that i will add all 100 devices uh, into the network monitoring tool and from there i will be monitoring keep monitoring every day this is not one time monitoring right morning afternoon and evening you will be monitoring the cpu that makes your cpu utilization is not hitting the label okay so this is one sensor and you can see it is working fine now again let me take you to the home page and from the home page what i told you uh, go to devices and under devices under network discovery you have network infra under network infra you have network devices under network devices there is one router and on router number one there is one sensor which is cpu load and it is giving me the cpu information which is seven percent from here i can add other sensors as well from here just click on add sensor and after that it will ask you to select the types of sensor first and then sensor or you can click on the router right it will land you on this page and uh, here you can see the button to add the sensor even there is some recommendation as well if you want to add you can add this sensor as well let me click on this add sensor button and here it is asking you for sensor type right so let's suppose i need a sensor uh, for uh, traffic monitoring so i am going to search for snmp traffic here snmp traffic here you can see this sensor is available and let me show you here it is to add it to add this snmp traffic sensor uh, just click on it now you can see it is asking for the interface like which interface you want to monitor g0 slash 0 g0 slash 1 g0 slash 2 3 right so select whatever interface you want to monitor i want to monitor for now let's say one interface g0 slash 0 and 0 slash uh, 2 or 1 right then click on create it will create sensor for you here you can see now g0 slash 0 
and g0 slash 2 here we can see the bandwidth uses right down time the detail information of this link this is overview again click on uh, your device and here you can see now how many sensors are there cpu and one for g0 slash 0 one for g0 slash 1 click on order number one and you can see all the sensors now it will take some time to collect the data right now i don't have any data for g0 slash 0 g0 slash 0 is my one interface right from here i am going to send some traffic let's suppose enable ping 192.168.1.1 and repeat let's suppose repeat so i am sending lots of traffic right it is going so automatically here you will see cpu utilization is increasing and it will also give you the data information on the link you can see now cpu utilization is reached to eight percent right right now my this sensor is not status is unknown right it will take some time and now you can see right here both the sensors are up cpu load as well as interface giga ethernet 0 slash 0 both the sensors are up and here you can see the traffic right graph here you can see the traffic detail information of your port van port right live graph two hours right you can see the detail information right so this way network engineers monitors router switches the interfaces of routers memory similarly i can add more sensors as well here right today i i am not talking about network monitoring that how to monitor just i want to show you how network engineers work in the production right in the company on daughter number one you can add more sensors as well and from there as well you can add the sensor here you can see there is option to add sensor for order number one sensor okay and you can search like memory right so i am looking for sensor snmp memory i can filter it snmp memory right somewhere you will find the sensor and just add it okay guys like this we have lots of sensors right which can be added with your routers and similarly you will add another router as well router number two then you will add switches these switches right so, and it is going to be very easy to monitor our network now so today just i have shown you how network engineers work in the production that's all for today if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button guys and if you need detailed video on network monitoring then just let me know in the comment section definitely i will make one detailed video on this thank you so much for watching we'll meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye